Just before their wedding ceremony began, the bride fainted upon learning a secret whispered by the groom. Maggie and Caleb were deeply in love, feeling in their hearts that the time had finally arrived for their union in marriage. Months of meticulous planning and attention to every detail were invested to make their special day perfect. However, they were entirely unprepared for a surprising revelation that caused Maggie to collapse at the altar. Despite having weathered various trials together, this unforeseen incident caught them off guard. When contemplating potential wedding disasters, thoughts typically turn to difficult guests or issues with the band. But having your soon-to-be husband reveal a secret that causes you to swoon, it was an unexpected turn, especially for Maggie, and to make matters more surprising, the entire incident was captured by the videographer. The video swiftly made its rounds on social media, thrusting Maggie and Caleb's unexpected moment into the public eye. Maggie and Caleb had known each other since their time at the same high school in Asheville, North Carolina. They shared mutual friends, leading their eventual connection to feel almost destined. While the idea of dating Caleb had crossed Maggie's mind before, she never imagined it would become a reality. Yet, on their wedding day, Maggie discovered something about Caleb that left her uncertain. Following high school, a shift occurred in their perception of each other. Maturity altered their priorities, although they couldn't quite pinpoint the exact change. Nevertheless, both Caleb and Maggie knew they desired more from their relationship. When they finally decided to date, they realized it was worth the wait and what they truly desired all along. Both diligent students pursuing their individual goals, they supported and encouraged each other in their pursuits. Caleb aspired to become a Marine, displaying unwavering determination. However, what neither of them expected was their transformation from friends to internet sensations over time. Their romantic journey officially began in 2013 when they acknowledged their growing feelings for each other. Their families witnessed the relationship's progression, bringing immense joy to Caleb and Maggie. Soon after, they made the decision to elevate their commitment to the next level. Caleb was utterly certain about spending his entire life with Maggie. He held an unwavering conviction that she was the one he wanted to share his future with, the love of his life. Therefore, he felt compelled to articulate these emotions. Visiting a jewelry store, he meticulously sifted through the collection to discover the ideal engagement ring, firmly believing that despite their youthfulness, Maggie was the sole woman for him. While Caleb was resolute in his feelings, he pondered whether Maggie reciprocated his sentiments. Following the proper etiquette, he sought permission from Maggie's parents, knowing that the next step was to pose the significant question. On the day of the proposal, his heart raced with anticipation as he asked Maggie to be his bride, producing the ring from his pocket. The moment stretched on, seemingly endless, until she uttered a heartfelt yes. At just 22 years old, they had an unwavering faith that their love could surmount any challenges that life might throw their way. Despite Maggie's usual composure, the strain of orchestrating the wedding began to affect her, causing concern for Caleb as well. The preparations surpassed their expectations, demanding far more time and effort than initially anticipated. Consequently, they found themselves spending less time together, straining their relationship. They grappled with managing their time, juggling their burgeoning careers alongside the exhaustive wedding arrangements. Nevertheless, their determination to make things work prevailed. The solace of sharing similar religious beliefs somewhat alleviated their burden, as they held firm to the belief that their faith would steer them through this turbulent period, despite being uncertain about what lay ahead. Fortitude in the face of adversity was not new to this resilient couple, and they remained resolute in their decision. Caleb cherished having an exceptional woman's love and was willing to go to any lengths to keep it. Expressing gratitude for Maggie's presence in his life, he vowed, reminiscent of his high school days, to be her unwavering support, protector, and encourager throughout their lives together. Despite their tender age, Caleb and Maggie exuded remarkable maturity. Maggie attributed this attribute to her experience of holding down the fort during Caleb's absence. He often found himself on duty, dedicatedly serving his country as a Marine. Caleb's achievement of realizing his lifelong dream at the age of 19 was commendable, 
yet the nobility of his occupation placed a significant strain on both him and Maggie. The demands of Caleb's service caused uncertainties for Maggie, frequently leaving her in the dark about his whereabouts and uncertain about his return home. This reality set the tone for their life together, offering a glimpse into the challenges they might face once they were married. Despite their impending union, the couple opted for a modest wedding, prioritizing the intimacy of the occasion and aligning it with their deeply held beliefs. However, they encountered an unexpected hurdle when all the photographers they approached were fully booked, causing them a great deal of concern as capturing their special day was the only missing piece. The looming wedding day only intensified their worries as the search for an available photographer continued to prove futile. Just when it seemed hopeless, a stroke of luck emerged as a friend recommended the esteemed photographer Dwayne Schmidt, known for his expertise and high demand. Aware of Schmidt's prominence in the field, Caleb and Maggie reached out, hoping against hope that he might have an opening, although their optimism was tempered by the short notice. Meeting Schmidt a few weeks before the wedding, they were captivated by his impressive portfolio, solidifying their belief that he was the ideal choice to document their cherished day. The anxiety-ridden question about Schmidt's availability was met with pure delight when he confirmed his presence on their special day. It was an unexpected turn of events as they hadn't envisioned that this perfect photographer would play a transformative role in their lives. With Schmidt's confirmation, everything seemed to fall into place, and the joyous couple couldn't fathom the possibility of any disruptions. However, about a week before the wedding, their euphoria was abruptly shattered by a distressing phone call that left their world in disarray. The devastating news sent them into a frenzy, scrambling to find a solution. Suddenly, the entire foundation of their wedding seemed on the verge of collapse following that fateful phone call. The unforeseen twist in their plans left the couple in a quandary, unsure of how to navigate the sudden upheaval that life had thrown their way. Dwayne's call delivered unsettling news that had the potential to upend everything they had meticulously arranged. Their esteemed photographer faced an unexpected medical emergency necessitating urgent surgical intervention to remove kidney stones. Despite the surgery being scheduled a week before their wedding, its seriousness cast doubt on Dwayne's ability to photograph their special day. In the face of adversity, Maggie and Caleb opted to persist, determined not to allow anything to hinder their plans. Their unwavering faith had seen them through previous hardships, particularly during Caleb's absences, instilling in them the belief that their faith could surmount this new obstacle. Resolute in their conviction, the couple remained steadfast, placing their trust in divine intervention or the advancements of modern medicine. The news of Duane's successful surgery brought immense joy, offering a glimmer of hope that he might recuperate in time for their wedding. With a week left until the ceremony, the couple sought distractions while maintaining focus on the positive aspects, attempting to place their concerns into perspective. Several days before the wedding, Caleb made a pivotal call to another photographer, feeling anxious and apprehensive about the uncertain situation. However, the unexpected turn of events astounded Caleb, the photographer shared remarkable news, Duane had miraculously healed in time for their wedding. Amidst the stress and uncertainty, the couple found themselves back on track for their much-anticipated day. Their prayers appeared to yield their own miracle, as Duane's recovery defied all odds, aligning perfectly with their plans. Although known for upholding tradition, Caleb desired a departure from the norm on his wedding day, harboring a specific idea for their photographer. Expressing his unique vision to Duane elicited the photographer's excitement. It presented an opportunity to deviate from conventional wedding photography, allowing Duane to showcase his artistic flair and love for innovative composition. When the long-awaited day finally arrived, Duane enthusiastically captured the couple's special moments, both in candid and posed shots. With Caleb's request in mind, Duane immersed himself in the task, breaking away from customary wedding photography and embracing the opportunity to create something distinctive and extraordinary. His lens expertly documented the couple and their families as they prepared for the monumental occasion, encapsulating the anticipation and significance of what was about to unfold in their lives. The unconventional approach to photography infused the day with an artistic touch that resonated deeply with the couple's desire for something truly unique and memorable.
Within the bustling room filled with a bride and her animated bridesmaids immersed in the final stages of primping for the day ahead, Dwayne diligently snapped photographs. Each click of his camera meticulously documented every detail, from the intricacies of makeup application to the meticulous styling of hair. Yet, amidst the flurry of activity, the looming entrance of Caleb loomed large in Duane's anticipation. When the awaited moment arrived, Caleb made his entrance through a rear door, signaling the commencement of a poignant chapter. From behind the lens, Duane keenly observed Caleb's demeanor, immediately deciphering the unmistakable signs of nervousness etched in his body language. As Caleb cautiously stepped closer, Maggie remained oblivious to his presence, situated around the corner. The room, however, crackled with an electric fervor as the other women caught sight of Caleb, their collective anticipation palpable, each breath drawn with bated anticipation. With each step, Caleb's nerves visibly escalated, his eyes cast downward as he moved closer toward the staircase. This was the moment both he and Maggie had anticipated for what felt like an eternity, the crescendo of their anticipation building to a peak. Caleb finally reached the set of stairs adjacent to the far wall, a slightly ajar door positioned beside them, the gateway to Maggie's concealed presence. The anticipation surged within him as he imagined the breathtaking sight of his soon-to-be wife behind that door, a moment poised to become etched in his memory forever. The photographer, completely engrossed, clicked away, focusing intently on Caleb's every move as he leaned against the wall, the door slowly inching open. Maggie, poised on the other side, carefully refrained from glimpsing her future husband, in line with their commitment to uphold certain cherished traditions. As Caleb extended his arm from behind the door, blindly seeking Maggie's hand, she reciprocated, their hands connecting in a tender moment of union. However, in adherence to their vow to not set eyes upon each other before their vows, they refrained from looking, preserving the sanctity of their impending ceremony. Their hands interlocked, their emotions overwhelmed them, and in that poignant instance, they both broke down. It was a deeply emotional and profoundly intimate moment, one that Duane was steadfastly determined to immortalize through his lens, capturing the raw and unrestrained emotions coursing through the couple as they stood on the threshold of their union. Maggie and Caleb were wholly absorbed in their private moment, their world momentarily revolving solely around each other. However, the room couldn't help but be touched by the enchantment that permeated the air. Witnessing the couple finding solace in each other's hands at the doorway, all the women in the room were overcome with emotion. Duane, the photographer, aimed not just to capture the bride and groom but also the heartfelt reactions of the onlookers, realizing the profound significance of the moment unfolding before him. Although the couple was emotional, they were determined to express everything they held in their hearts at that moment. Tears streamed down Caleb and Maggie's cheeks as they held onto each other's hands firmly, their voices trembling as they decided to share a prayer. It was an overwhelming moment for everyone present as Caleb and Maggie fervently asked for divine blessings, seeking support, guidance, and the presence of God in their union until the end. They ardently desired to walk together in accordance with God's will, embracing a life shared under His grace. As planned, Caleb and Maggie intended to offer their prayers together, but Maggie was unprepared for what unfolded next. Following their heartfelt prayer, Caleb spoke something carefully prepared and entirely on his own. His words took Maggie completely by surprise, stunning her in front of the attentive audience. With courage, Caleb expressed his true feelings and unwavering faith in God, bearing his heart for all to witness. This unexpected turn left an indelible impact on everyone present, with Caleb's heartfelt expression resonating deeply. The poignant moment unveiled Caleb's deep convictions and emotional depth, unveiling a profound layer of vulnerability before their loved ones and guests. As Caleb began to speak, Maggie listened attentively from behind the door, absorbing every heartfelt word he expressed. Yet, she wasn't alone in her rapt attention. The entire room fell into a hushed silence, eager to ensure that Maggie heard every syllable of Caleb's words, hanging on tender hooks, yearning to grasp every emotion conveyed. Just before the ceremony commenced, tears welling in his eyes, Caleb spoke with trembling hands, asking for divine blessings upon his beautiful bride-to-be and their future family. 
His prayer resonated deeply with everyone present, invoking a profound sense of sincerity and emotional depth. Kayla felt it was fitting to seek these blessings before their marriage, and Maggie was deeply moved by the sincerity and depth of Caleb's words. Overwhelmed with emotion, she covered her face with her hands, knowing in her heart that she had made the right decision. The couple hadn't anticipated that this intimate moment would be shared with so many. However, it was beautifully documented, allowing family and friends who couldn't attend the wedding to witness the heartfelt exchange. It became a meaningful way for the couple to include those who couldn't be physically present on their special day. Grateful for Duane's presence to capture this poignant moment, more and more guests expressed interest in viewing the touching photograph after hearing about it. Maggie and Caleb were delighted to share this cherished moment with all their guests, extending the warmth and sincerity of their connection to everyone who celebrated their union. Duane, the photographer, had captured a particular photo during the intimate moment when Caleb and Maggie were tenderly holding hands around the corner. It was a snapshot that, to Duane, symbolized a soul-bearing instant, a touching manifestation of raw emotion that left him feeling incredibly privileged to have witnessed it firsthand. The depth of emotion portrayed in that image resonated deeply, garnering admiration and praise from Caleb and Maggie's relatives. Impressed by the heartfelt response to the photo, which encapsulated the essence of Caleb and Maggie's story, Duane decided to share it on his Facebook page. Never before in his career had he experienced such an overwhelming response to a single photograph. The image struck a chord with viewers, who not only saw it but felt the profound emotions conveyed by the couple. The photo encapsulated the unwavering commitment shared between Caleb and Maggie, embodying their profound faith in an authentic and moving manner. Duane felt an immense sense of pride and honor, amazed by the continuous growth in views and the overwhelming support his work received on social media. At the conclusion of their momentous day, Caleb and Maggie were overjoyed with how everything had unfolded. Amidst the overwhelming chaos, their hearts were filled with gratitude for the cherished memories made and the support they received from their guests, especially Duane, whose photography had immortalized their day so beautifully. Reflecting on the breathtaking moment captured by Duane, the couple found solace in knowing that the promises made on that day would forever be preserved in that photo. Its poignant essence encapsulated their profound commitment and love for each other, leaving an indelible mark on their hearts. Following Duane's post of the touching photo, the demand for his work skyrocketed exponentially. The image had been shared extensively, leading to an influx of couples desiring Duane's exceptional skills as a wedding photographer. His schedule became inundated, forcing him to regretfully decline numerous wedding assignments in a single summer due to the overwhelming popularity of that single photograph. This remarkable photo continued to command attention, with its impact showing no signs of diminishing anytime soon. Its widespread recognition led to its feature on the cover of I Do magazine, while Duane's Facebook post amassed over a hundred shares and received more than 900 reactions, including likes, loves, and teary-eyed emotions. The original photo that Duane shared of Maggie and Caleb's profound moment became a viral sensation, accumulating over 61,000 likes, 9,000 shares, and attracting more than 3,000 heartfelt comments, a testament to the depth and power of that captured emotion. The captivating photograph continued to deeply resonate with individuals from various backgrounds, stirring profound emotions wherever it circulated. Caleb and Maggie had envisioned a typical life together after their wedding. However, the unexpected viral spread of their special photo altered their path dramatically, thrusting them into the limelight and drawing an overwhelming amount of attention and admirers. In a sudden turn, the once ordinary couple found themselves propelled into fame overnight. They received numerous invitations to join Duane on talk shows and participated in various interviews, sharing insights into their faith, love, and the cherished moments of their wedding day. While grateful for the opportunity to assist Duane in boosting his business, the sudden influx of attention was unforeseen for the couple. Unbeknownst to everyone at the wedding, Caleb had been diligently saving every penny he could in anticipation of a surprise for his beloved Maggie. Beyond the splendor of their meticulously planned ceremony, he had something extraordinary in mind, a trip to Fiji immediately after exchanging their vows. 
Drawing close for what appeared to be an innocent kiss on the cheek, Caleb revealed this life-altering surprise to Maggie, leaving her overwhelmed with emotions and shock. The unexpected revelation led to a moment of stunning disbelief, causing Maggie to faint at the altar, leaving Caleb astonished and deeply concerned. However, after the videographer stopped filming, the story took a joyous turn. In 2015, Samantha Harris and Taylor Sinclair finally tied the knot after an eventful engagement. Following their enchanting ceremony, they took to the dance floor for their first dance, only to have their moment interrupted by an unexpected wedding crasher, leaving the bride and the crowd in stunned silence. Samantha, deeply invested in making her special day a reflection of her dreams, was taken aback by this unforeseen intrusion. Overwhelmed with disbelief, she watched the unexpected events unfold, clutching her stomach, as the uninvited guest disrupted the celebratory atmosphere. The unforeseen turn of events mirrored a romantic tale. Harris had first encountered Sinclair at a baseball game where he played for the Visalia Rawhide in the minor league. Her attentive presence in the stands had caught his eye, prompting him to pursue her number after just two dates. However, their budding romance faced an abrupt pause when Sinclair announced his departure for the new baseball season, leaving Harris devastated. She was confident that their new love was thriving, but the looming question remained, could their relationship withstand the challenges of a long-distance setup? Only time would reveal the resilience of their bond. Enduring the trials of a long-distance relationship, Sinclair eventually made the decision to relocate to California to be with Karish. Their commitment to each other was evident as they joyfully navigated their relationship for four years, culminating in Sinclair's heartfelt proposal to the love of his life during their vacation in Cancun, Mexico in 2014. Overjoyed, Karish accepted his proposal and immediately delved into planning their dreamlike wedding. Despite the strains of separation, their bond had grown stronger over time, fortifying their relationship for the journey ahead. It just made us even stronger, Karish reflects, reminiscing about their unwavering commitment. Little did they know, however, that unforeseen challenges lay ahead, lurking in their near future. Eagerly diving into wedding preparations upon their return, the couple envisioned a dreamy celebration back in the picturesque setting of Cancun where their engagement had unfolded. A destination wedding in the midst of family and friends was the couple's aspiration. Yet, fate had a different plan for their fairy tale wedding. Their anticipation and excitement were abruptly shattered by a heartbreaking turn of events, forever altering their course. A day after their return from a wedding planning trip to Mexico in October 2014, devastating news reached Karish, casting a shadow over their plans. Despite Samantha's enthusiasm in detailing the wedding plans to her mother, their journey leading up to the wedding was not without its challenges. Tragedy struck unexpectedly, interrupting the joyous preparations for their much-awaited celebration. A sense of unease crept over her, her mother's uncharacteristic silence spoke volumes. Samantha sensed that something wasn't quite right. Her heart sank as her mother shared the distressing news, her multiple sclerosis had taken a turn for the worse. The reality hit hard, she wouldn't be able to travel anymore, especially not for her daughter's wedding. In a swift change of plans, they immediately reconsidered their wedding destination. Samantha and Taylor swiftly altered their aspirations, shifting focus to a local ceremony in California. Taylor, adamant about ensuring Samantha's mother could attend, promptly dismissed the previous ideas. If that's the case, we're abandoning that idea, Samantha reminisced. The couple restructured their plans, setting sights on a wedding in San Diego, closer to Samantha's mother. Hope rekindled within Samantha's heart, envisioning her mother's presence at the wedding, a cherished dream she held close. With the new arrangements in place, it seemed as though everything was finally falling back into place. Yet, unforeseen challenges loomed on the horizon. Amidst venues scouting over the next month, an unexpected blow struck the couple once more. Karish's mother's health continued to decline, and soon, another devastating revelation emerged, she had been diagnosed with colon cancer. In the face of this grim diagnosis, a barrage of tests and x-rays offered little solace as the doctor delivered a grim prognosis. With Karish's mother's health hanging precariously, 
the couple found themselves in a heart-wrenching predicament once again. The looming concern for her mother's well-being compelled Karish and Sinclair to make the agonizing decision to forego their wedding plans yet again. Karish made a firm decision to adapt to life's challenges and confront whatever obstacles came her way as best as she could. Despite knowing it meant spending less time with her beloved Sinclair, she relocated from their Redondo Beach, California home to Simi Valley, California to care for her ailing mother. This transition meant she could only see her fiancé on weekends. During this trying period, the bride-to-be scoured the internet for ideas on arranging an affordable wedding. She clung to her ideal wedding aspirations amidst this time of uncertainty, contemplating options such as a courthouse or backyard ceremony. However, her time constraints made planning challenging. None of the ideas stood out until she stumbled upon something that would alter her life's course forever. Karish discovered an online competition and excitedly shared it with her friends, who, unbeknownst to her, nominated her for the winning dream wedding contest. This competition promised to cover everything, from the venue to the food and all other wedding expenses. This news brought immense relief as it meant she could continue caring for her mother. Yet, an unexpected hurdle loomed ahead. Each couple entering the competition had a chance to have their entire ceremony funded by The Knot, a wedding website. However, the catch was that every detail of the wedding would be determined by votes from the American public. As the votes poured in, propelling her closer to her dream wedding, Karish even received support from someone in Australia who pledged to vote for the couple. However, winning came with a twist, relinquishing control of the wedding plans to the voting public. While many brides might find the idea of surrendering control unthinkable, Karish saw it as an ideal solution. If she emerged victorious, it would alleviate immense pressure, allowing her to focus on what truly mattered, her mother's health. Finally, after being announced as one of the six finalists from thousands of applicants, Samantha received the life-changing news, she had won the competition. We've always said the most important wedding detail is each other, and everything else will fall into place, she remarked, ready to embrace all the unconventional aspects that would become part of the wedding. She was certain he would suffice. The pair could focus on their family while the public handled their wedding arrangements. They only needed to make an appearance to exchange vows since nearly every detail of their wedding had been decided through online voting. Karish and Sinclair felt thoroughly prepared for their significant day. However, there remained one unexpected element, a surprise awaited them during their first dance as a married couple. Simon Taylor had selected the nation's cherished melody, Love You Like That, by Canelon Smith, for their inaugural dance together. This song held a special place in their hearts, always bringing smiles in their moments of separation. As the song's harmonious tune commenced, they took to the dance floor, ready to embrace the moment. Suddenly, the wedding band ceased playing before the song had even begun, and one of the musicians announced through the microphone, You know what? We have a better idea for the both of you. Confusion clouded the couple's minds. Had something gone awry? Then, the announcement echoed through the venue, Sam and Taylor, we have a surprise guest here to sing your first dance song. Samantha's heart skipped a beat with anticipation. The audience fell into absolute silence, eagerly waiting to witness the unfolding events. And then, they saw him. Samantha slowly turned, scarcely believing her eyes, as Ken Elon Smith himself made his way toward the dance floor. The Knot, orchestrators of the wedding, had arranged for the country singer to fly to California and perform a live rendition of their beloved song. Overwhelmed with disbelief, the newlywed stood frozen, immersed in sheer joy. Samantha instinctively embraced the singer as he took the stage, initiating a special rendition of Love You Like That, crafted just for them. Being a newlywed himself, Ken Elon Smith couldn't resist the opportunity to bestow upon the couple the surprise of a lifetime. Yet, that wasn't the sole astonishment they encountered on that remarkable day. Next, let's enjoy another story similar to this one. A wedding, envisioned as a blissful union, encapsulates the epitome of love and celebration. 
It symbolizes a moment of togetherness, where friends and family gather to honor the union of two individuals, marking the commencement of a shared journey filled with joy and laughter, creating everlasting memories. However, amidst the carefully planned and joyous atmosphere, unforeseen challenges can cast a shadow on this joyous occasion. Lana, on the cusp of marrying the love of her life, encountered one such impediment in the form of Kathy, her future mother-in-law. Kathy, the groom's mother, appeared discontented about the impending wedding. Her discontent brewed into a desire to disrupt the special day, potentially causing a rift between the couple. But Lana, resolute in her determination to protect the sanctity of her impending union, formulated a plan to counter Kathy's interference. Our narrative unfolds with Lana, seated behind the wheel of her car, contemplating the unexpected invitation extended by Kathy, her future mother-in-law. The invitation for a casual coffee date at a local cafe struck Lana as odd. Her relationship with Kathy had always been strained, leaving Lana perplexed about the sudden outreach and its intentions. This rendezvous stirred a sense of uncertainty within Lana. She grappled with trying to decipher Kathy's motives, contemplating whether this invitation harbored a hidden agenda, given their past differences. Despite the puzzlement, Lana resolved to navigate this meeting with an air of caution and intrigue, preparing herself for the unforeseen developments that might transpire during this seemingly innocuous coffee date. The wheels of her mind spun with questions, contemplating the intentions behind Kathy's invitation, as she drove towards the cafe, ready to confront whatever lay ahead. Little did Lana know that this coffee date would mark the beginning of a tumultuous yet strategically plotted battle against Kathy's attempts to sabotage her wedding day. The coffee shop encounter would become the pivotal moment that would set the stage for Lana's shrewd retaliation against her interfering mother-in-law's disruptive intentions. As Lana embarked on her drive to the anticipated meeting, her apprehension about the impending encounter with Kathy, her future mother-in-law, weighed heavily on her mind. She drove so cautiously that a car behind her impatiently honked its horn, prompting Lana to realize that no matter how she tried to delay or evade the meeting, confronting the situation was inevitable. The inner turmoil Lana experienced was a relatable sentiment shared by many who anticipate meeting their partner's parents. In most relationships, meeting the parents is a natural and pleasant experience. However, occasionally, individuals encounter a potential mother or father-in-law who seems indifferent or harbors a disapproval that's difficult to comprehend. In Lana's case, her relationship with Kathy was marked by a palpable strain. Despite Lana's efforts, a sense of discord lingered between them, leaving Lana perplexed about the cause. She found herself grappling with an unsettling feeling, wondering about the reasons behind Kathy's apparent lack of affinity towards her. The looming meeting at the cafe served as a significant juncture in Lana's journey toward matrimony. Despite the tension and unease, Lana recognized that addressing this friction was essential for the well-being of her relationship with Michael, her partner, and for the sanctity of their impending marriage. So, gathering her resolve, Lana made a conscious decision to confront the situation head-on. She chose to gather her courage and face the meeting at the cafe, prepared for the potential challenges that lay ahead in reconciling the strained relationship with her future mother-in-law, Kathy. Lana was eager to marry Kathy's son, especially since the wedding was just a month away. She hoped that her upcoming meeting with Kathy would pave the way for a harmonious relationship. Parking outside the cafe, Lana peered through the window, observing Kathy's rude behavior toward a waiter before entering to uncover the purpose behind this unexpected coffee date. Reflecting on her journey with Kathy, Lana found it peculiar to witness how their relationship had evolved. Initially, when Lana commenced dating her fiancé, Michael, she ardently wished to build a rapport with his mother. Lana extended numerous invitations for outings and shopping trips, hoping to forge a connection with Kathy. Despite her persistent efforts, Kathy displayed a lack of interest. Despite Lana's repeated invitations, Kathy consistently dodged the engagements, often citing excuses. Eventually, Kathy ceased responding to Lana's calls altogether. Even when Lana attempted to reach out via text, she encountered prolonged delays before receiving a reply. Despite Lana's sincere attempts to bridge the gap, their efforts seemed futile, yielding no tangible results. 
When Lana received an unexpected invitation from Kathy, her future mother-in-law, her instincts immediately signaled caution. In the realm of social interaction, a sudden invitation from someone who barely engages in conversation, such as answering calls or responding to texts, typically indicates disinterest. Lana found it rather suspicious that Kathy, who usually exhibited minimal communication, suddenly extended an invitation to a coffee shop out of the blue. This unusual gesture from Kathy left Lana feeling perplexed and apprehensive. She couldn't fathom the reason behind the sudden warmth and friendliness that Kathy exuded during their recent phone conversation. It was entirely out of character and raised red flags in Lana's mind. As Lana arrived at the coffee shop, she couldn't shake off her unease. What intensified her suspicions was Kathy's insistence on a specific meeting place, an hour's drive away from their usual locales in the city. Lana found it peculiar and desperately sought an explanation for Kathy's choice of such an inconvenient location. Before entering the coffee shop, Lana took a moment outside to observe Kathy through the window. What caught her attention was the stark contrast in Kathy's behavior. Lana witnessed Kathy, usually reserved and distant, displaying unexpected rudeness towards a waiter. However, as Lana stepped inside, Kathy's demeanor had transformed. She was now remarkably polite, exhibiting warmth and courtesy towards the same waiter she had previously been curt with. Despite Kathy's sudden display of congeniality, Lana remained cautious. She recognized Kathy's adeptness in adopting a facade of kindness while concealing her true feelings. Having herself dabbled in acting, Lana understood the intricacies of masking emotions, having been a part of theatrical performances and having interacted with various actors. Her experiences in the world of acting taught Lana the art of discerning between genuine emotions and feigned expressions. Lana's skepticism lingered, as she knew all too well how easily people could put on a performance, concealing their true intentions behind a well-crafted facade. Kathy possessed an uncanny ability that Lana had never witnessed in anyone else, an adeptness in swiftly transitioning between emotions. Lana marveled at Kathy's capability to shift from joyous to despondent or from spiteful to kind within mere moments. Kathy, in Lana's eyes, was a virtuoso of emotional manipulation, masking her animosity towards Lana with remarkable finesse. Michael, Lana's partner, remained oblivious to his mother's manipulative behavior. He seemed entranced by Kathy's charismatic facade, never realizing the undercurrents of resentment Kathy harbored towards Lana. Lana, on the other hand, grappled with constant apprehension and distress, perpetually anxious about Kathy's potential actions and words. The bond between Lana and Kathy had gradually deteriorated over the months since Lana started dating Michael. Numerous confrontations and instances of deception had eroded Lana's trust in Kathy, leaving Lana on edge and suspicious of every interaction. Walking into the coffee shop, Lana carried an unshakable sense of dread and concern. She was convinced that Kathy harbored malicious intentions, brewing a scheme aimed at driving a wedge between Michael and Lana. After placing their drink orders and as the waiter departed, Kathy delved into her bag and retrieved an object. Lana's heart raced with apprehension, her mind racing through a plethora of scenarios, anticipating a malicious ploy or a venomous verbal attack from Kathy. The air around their table seemed charged with tension, amplifying Lana's trepidation about what Kathy had in store for her. Lana's eyes widened in disbelief as she beheld the object Kathy had placed on the table, a nondescript brown paper envelope. Its presence evoked a potent blend of confusion and trepidation within Lana, who grappled with a surge of apprehension, anticipating Kathy's next move with a sense of foreboding. As Lana fixated on the mysterious envelope, Kathy initiated a conversation, acknowledging the persistent discord between them, acknowledging their inability to establish rapport. However, Kathy expressed a hope to set aside their differences for Michael's well-being. She presented Lana with an unexpected proposition, catching Lana completely off guard. The weight of Kathy's words resonated deeply within Lana, each syllable intensifying the pounding of her heart. Lana absorbed Kathy's proposition with a mix of shock and incredulity, her mind racing to comprehend the gravity of what was being offered. Lana listened intently as Kathy elaborated, 
her pulse quickening with each passing moment. By the time Kathy concluded her discourse, Lana found herself rendered speechless, her countenance etched with astonishment. She was caught in a moment of stunned silence, grappling with the weight of Kathy's words. The rush of emotions overwhelmed Lana, she could feel her heart racing, her cheeks flushed with heat in reaction to the unexpected proposal. Meanwhile, Kathy appeared composed, nonchalantly suggesting Lana take a few moments to contemplate the proposition while excusing herself to the restroom, leaving Lana alone with her swirling thoughts. The air was charged with anticipation and uncertainty, leaving Lana in a state of bewildered contemplation, grappling with the monumental decision presented to her by Kathy. After Kathy left, Lana took a few moments to contemplate the bewildering situation she found herself in, musing on how she had ended up in such an unexpected scenario. Following her completion of qualifications and the essential training, Lana pursued a career in nursing. Upon receiving an enticing job offer in the bustling city, she made the decision to relocate and embark on a new chapter in her professional life. Lana's specialization in orthopedics, an area that piqued her keen interest, made it a dream job for her. The anticipation of beginning this new phase filled her with tremendous excitement. Not only did the move prove to be a remarkable professional milestone, but it also unfolded into a significant development on a personal level. Lana's time at the hospital introduced her to Michael, the man who would become the love of her life. Recalling the first encounter is a cherished memory for most couples, often marked by its special and unforgettable nature. Lana and Michael's initial meeting was no different. Michael, a hockey player, suffered a leg injury that required surgery, leading to his admission to Lana's ward. During one of her customary morning rounds, attending to charts and greeting patients, Lana entered Michael's room and was taken aback by the unexpected sight. Michael, finding himself bored in the hospital bed with no one to talk to and nothing to do, noticed a wall-mounted TV in his room. Unable to locate the remote and with no nurses in sight to assist, he took matters into his own hands. Balancing precariously on a nearby chair, Michael attempted to operate the TV when Lana's sudden entrance startled him. Startled, he lost his balance and began to topple from the chair. Lana reacted swiftly, reaching out to catch him before he hit the ground. However, Michael's weight caused Lana to lose her balance, and the two of them ended up in a tumble on the floor. Lana was left in a state of confusion following the unexpected incident. Witnessing a patient with an injured leg attempting such a risky endeavor left her utterly shocked, rightfully concerned for Michael's well-being. What surprised her even more was Michael's sudden burst of laughter after their tumble to the floor. Frustrated and flustered, Lana helped Michael back into bed and quietly left the room without uttering another word. The entire event had left Lana shaken, and she tried to push it out of her mind. However, later that day, one of her colleagues approached her, mentioning that Michael wished to apologize. Curious about what he had to say, Lana decided to visit his room one more time at the end of her shift. Unaware of what lay ahead, Lana entered Michael's room, expecting an apology, but little did she realize that this encounter would mark the beginning of her developing feelings for him. Lana found herself drawn to Michael's charm, his friendly and humorous demeanor during the apology gradually winning her over. His genuine and considerate manner left a positive impression on Lana, causing her to start liking him almost involuntarily. Surprisingly, Michael, in his effort to make amends, extended an invitation to take Lana out for dinner, a gesture she agreed to despite her usual rule of not dating patients. There was something unique and captivating about Michael that Lana couldn't ignore. As fate would have it, Michael was due to be discharged from the hospital on the same day, which made Lana happy to arrange a dinner date with him. She was eager to seize the opportunity to get to know him better. The anticipation of spending time with Michael for an evening meal was both thrilling and nerve-wracking for Lana. Their first conversation that very evening after Michael's discharge surpassed all expectations. Engrossed in each other's company, Lana and Michael lost track of time, chatting away until the early hours of the morning. They connected so deeply that the passage of time went unnoticed, highlighting the spark of something special brewing between them. 
arranging to meet for dinner later in the week turned out to be another delightful encounter for Lana and Michael. Lana marveled at how rapidly their bond strengthened. They seemed like true soulmates, effortlessly fitting into each other's lives with an uncanny connection, sharing a multitude of interests and constantly bringing smiles to each other's faces. Michael, aside from being remarkably handsome and charming, possessed an incredible sense of humor and impressive intellect. The more Lana discovered about him, the deeper her affection grew. He embodied the qualities she admired in a man, evident in his recent qualification as an engineer and his attainment of a fulfilling job. Moreover, Michael's commitment to his family resonated deeply with Lana, who cherished the idea of a close-knit and happy family. As their relationship blossomed, both Lana and Michael began to feel an undeniable sense of belonging together. Two months into their journey, Michael posed a significant question to Lana, one that carried weight and meaning, do you want to meet my family? Lana was elated at the invitation, recognizing the significance of this step forward in their relationship. For Lana, meeting Michael's parents signified a pivotal moment, a clear indicator that their relationship was progressing to a more serious stage. Being a fervent advocate of strong family bonds herself, Lana eagerly looked forward to meeting Michael's mom and dad. So, on a serene Sunday morning, she drove to their picturesque suburban home, ready to introduce herself. However, the initial moments felt a bit off. Keith, Michael's father, warmly welcomed Lana with a heartfelt hug, but Kathy, Michael's mother, appeared reserved and distant. Lana extended a friendly gesture for a hug, but Kathy's response was noticeably cold. Lana sensed immediately that forging a relationship with Kathy would pose a considerable challenge. Kathy's demeanor, scanning Lana with a rude glance before offering a chilly and reluctant embrace, contrasted starkly with Keith's warm smile and enthusiastic greeting. Despite this initial encounter, Lana, along with Michael and his parents, headed to the backyard to share coffee and cakes. Lana, although nervous as first meetings with a partner's parents can often be, maintained her sociable nature and had been genuinely excited to meet Keith and Kathy for the first time. Hoping for a smooth and positive interaction, Lana's aspirations for a successful relationship with Michael's parents were dashed by another unfortunate incident. Amidst the gathering, Lana caught Kathy glaring at her disapprovingly as she reached for a second cupcake, a small yet glaring indication of Kathy's displeasure. As the day drew to a close, Lana bid farewell to Michael's parents, expressing gratitude for the pleasant day. The farewells to Keith were filled with warmth, hugs, and smiles. However, when Lana turned to bid goodbye to Kathy, the older woman coldly turned away. Lana, who had been anxious about making a good impression, felt a pang of disappointment. It was evident to her that Kathy held some form of disapproval toward her. Michael, seemingly unaware of Kathy's demeanor, dismissed Lana's concerns, attributing them to Kathy's imagination. He vouched for his mother's kindness, assuring Lana that such behavior wasn't in her nature. Michael proposed that Lana extend an invitation to Kathy for brunch, seeing it as a positive step towards fostering a better relationship between them. Lana agreed, hoping it would set the stage for a better understanding between her and Kathy. Summoning courage, Lana called Kathy, initially met with a friendly tone that quickly turned cold upon realizing it was Lana on the line. Kathy rudely dismissed the call, claiming she was too occupied to talk. Despite Lana's subsequent attempts to reach out, each call went unanswered, leaving Lana disheartened. Michael intervened, contacting his mom and facilitating an arrangement for Lana to meet Kathy. Lana harbored hope, wanting to establish a good rapport with Kathy, recognizing the significance of family in Michael's life. She endeavored to ensure things wouldn't turn awkward, knowing she might encounter Kathy frequently in the future. However, despite Lana's earnest efforts, the situation only seemed to worsen. When Lana arrived at Kathy's place for their scheduled shopping trip, Kathy immediately initiated by making disparaging remarks about the cleanliness of Lana's car. Throughout the journey to the mall, Kathy remained distant, engrossed in her phone, responding curtly to Lana's attempts at conversation with brief, monosyllabic answers. Upon their arrival at the mall, the strained atmosphere persisted, indicating a challenging day ahead. 
As Lana parked the car at the mall, she couldn't help but notice Kathy engaging in an abrupt conversation on her phone. Straining to eavesdrop, Lana sensed that Kathy was arranging to meet someone else inside the mall, a discovery that caught Lana off guard. To Lana's surprise, Kathy abruptly cancelled their shopping plans, citing an urgent situation with a friend that needed immediate attention. Kathy swiftly thanked Lana for the ride and departed without offering any further explanation, leaving Lana in a state of disbelief. Stunned by Kathy's unexpected behavior, Lana reflected on her earnest attempts to build a cordial relationship with Michael's mother. Despite Kathy's peculiar actions and unpleasant comments, Lana had persevered, going as far as organizing a shopping trip with her. Yet, this latest turn of events marked the end of Lana's tolerance for being mistreated and manipulated by Kathy. Choosing not to extend any further invitations to Kathy, Lana kept the encounter to herself when questioned by Michael, choosing peace over conflict. Kathy, on the other hand, portrayed a rosy picture of their interactions, leaving Michael under the impression that his mother and girlfriend were growing closer. However, the truth was far from the facade Kathy presented. Despite Lana's efforts, encounters with Kathy persisted during family gatherings, creating a necessity that Lana accepted due to her love for Michael and his family. While Kathy continued her covert hostility towards Lana, she adeptly concealed her true nature when in the company of others, acting kind and amiable. During one occasion when Lana hosted a dinner party, inviting Michael's parents over, Kathy arrived and immediately claimed an upset stomach, refusing to partake in any of the food Lana had prepared. She made only a superficial comment about the food's appearance before abstaining from eating entirely. Kathy's demeanor throughout the evening remained aloof, observing Lana's home critically. Even Michael began to notice the strained atmosphere, sensing that something was amiss. Witnessing Kathy's persistent mistreatment weighed heavily on Lana. Her desire was simple, to find a loving partner with a kind and welcoming family, hoping to create her own cherished love story. Yet, the reality of Kathy's behavior left Lana deeply disheartened. Lana had always nurtured the hope that her partner would have kind and welcoming parents, envisioning family gatherings filled with warmth and joy. Yet, her aspirations seemed distant and unattainable. Dealing with Kathy, for whatever reason, became an unwelcome reality. Kathy had made her disapproval of Lana evident, signaling that she didn't perceive Lana as the right fit for her son. It seemed as though Lana had no choice but to come to terms with this reality and navigate through it as best as she could. As the holiday season approached, Christmas loomed on the horizon, a time cherished by families for togetherness and celebration. Lana and Michael both yearned to spend this special time with their respective parents. In a bid to decide, they resorted to flipping a coin, with Michael emerging as the victor. Consequently, they planned to celebrate Christmas with Michael's family. Lana anticipated that the holiday season might not be as cheerful with Kathy around, a fear that materialized during their Christmas gathering. Kathy half-heartedly presented Lana with a pair of socks as a gift and, during dinner, deliberately served Lana a smashed slice of pumpkin pie, a stark contrast to the perfect slices everyone else received. These calculated actions seemed aimed at conveying Kathy's dislike for Lana. Kathy's subtle yet intentional meanness went unnoticed by Michael, leaving Lana feeling isolated and defenseless. She grappled with constant negativity but lacked the support or means to stand up for herself. Lana attempted to confront Kathy about her behavior on a few occasions, trying to address the issue directly. However, each time Lana believed she had Kathy cornered, the older woman adeptly evaded the confrontation with excuses. For a considerable period, Michael remained oblivious to any significant conflict between Kathy and Lana. However, as time elapsed, the signs became too evident for even Michael to overlook. Lana found herself in a situation where she felt besieged by Kathy's antagonism, struggling to find a resolution or support amid the escalating tension. Michael and Lana decided to take the significant step of moving in together. Following this decision, Michael noticed a substantial change in his mom's behavior. She began frequently calling him, leading him to often leave the room whenever she rang. On one occasion, returning from such a call, he appeared visibly angry, 
hinting at a possible argument with Kathy regarding her behavior. For Lana, this moment marked a small victory, as Michael seemed to recognize the situation. However, she remained concerned that things might escalate further. The next day, following an apparent argument between Michael and his mom over the phone, Kathy called again. This time, she mentioned organizing a party to celebrate Michael and Lana moving in together. It seemed like an attempt to show support for her son and reconcile with him. Lana astutely perceived Kathy's underlying intentions. She was both surprised and amused to realize that she hadn't been formally invited, only Michael had received the invitation. Despite this, Lana decided to attend the party. Initially, the party was pleasant, with a good turnout and delicious food. However, the atmosphere shifted when a stunning young woman arrived. Lana observed Michael's expression change drastically. When she inquired, Michael revealed that the girl was his ex-girlfriend. This unexpected revelation left Lana taken aback. Lana and Michael were astonished to discover that Kathy had extended an invitation to Michael's ex-girlfriend for the event, seemingly in a cruel attempt to disrupt their relationship and create tension between them. Nevertheless, they chose to brush it off and try to salvage the rest of the evening. They remained at the party for a few more hours, observing Kathy spending most of the night chatting with Michael's ex in an attempt to engage Michael in conversation. When Michael eventually went over to greet his ex, Kathy promptly excused herself, leaving him feeling isolated. Lana observed their discomfort and approached to understand the situation, realizing that even the ex-girlfriend felt deceived by Kathy's actions. As time passed, Kathy continued her pattern of unpleasant behavior toward the couple. On one occasion, when Lana and Michael planned a month-long trip to Europe, they needed someone to care for their cat. Kathy volunteered, and they agreed. Their European trip was wonderful, filled with exploration and enjoyment. However, their joy turned into dismay upon returning home. The house appeared as if it had been ransacked. Initially fearing a break-in, Lana and Michael were shocked to find that virtually every piece of furniture had been tampered with. The drawers in the kitchen were in disarray, with their contents thoroughly disturbed and shifted. The state of their home was far worse than they had anticipated. In various rooms, the larger items had been completely rearranged. Spending an entire day sorting through the chaos, Lana had reached her limit. She conveyed to Michael that it was time to set boundaries, and he agreed. Michael called his mom seeking an explanation, but she resorted to her usual behavior, soothing him with kind words, and dodging the issue. Later, Michael proposed to Lana, filling her with joy, yet her happiness was tempered by concern over Kathy's potential reaction. Given Kathy's history of unpleasant actions, Lana's suspicions were entirely justified. This brings us back to Lana's encounter with the future mother-in-law at the coffee shop. Retrieving the envelope, she left the shop, parked at home, and paused, holding the envelope before gazing at the home she shared with Michael. From that moment, Lana resolved to devise a plan to get back at Kathy. She began by entering the house and concealing the envelope inside a box in the closet. Rushing to the bedroom, Lana stashed the envelope in a box before placing it in the closet. Just as she finished, Michael entered, sharing strange news from his mom. Kathy had uttered unusual things, affirming she'd always be available for him, asking him to come over if needed. Michael was perplexed by his mom's behavior, and Lana feigned ignorance. Despite this, the couple moved on, settling down to watch a movie together. Unbeknownst to Michael, Lana was busy plotting her revenge. As the wedding day approached, the couple noticed it was only two weeks away. Throughout this time, Lana couldn't shake the thought of the secret envelope tucked away in her closet. The financial responsibility for the wedding rested on Lana's parents, thus providing her with no compelling reason to interact with Kathy following their coffee date. Lana purposefully avoided Kathy's calls. However, on the day designated for Lana to choose her wedding dress, Kathy unexpectedly made an appearance, donning her usual unpleasant expression. Unfazed by Kathy's presence, Lana immersed herself in the joy of the moment, relishing the experience alongside her mother and bridesmaids. 
She navigated through trying on various dresses, determined not to allow Kathy to mar a single moment of this special occasion. Lana remained resolute in ignoring Kathy's attempts to disrupt her happiness throughout the entire process. She spent the day surrounded by her mother and friends, maintaining her composure during her bachelorette party and the rehearsal dinner. Despite Kathy's repeated attempts to confront Lana privately during these events, Lana stayed one step ahead, sticking to her plan and refusing to let Kathy interfere. The morning of the wedding found Lana waking up in her hotel room, embraced by supportive friends, eagerly anticipating the most significant day of her life. But what had actually been concealed inside that mysterious envelope? What had Kathy schemed all along? What was her intention? The truth revealed that the unassuming brown paper envelope held $10,000 in cash. Kathy's devious plan had been to bribe Lana into leaving Michael. She dangled the substantial sum, promising it to Lana if she severed ties with Michael and exited his life for good. Despite the tempting offer, Lana never entertained the thought of accepting the bribe. She was incensed by Kathy's audacious attempt at such a heartless maneuver. However, instead of displaying her anger, Lana concealed it, opting to play along while secretly devising her own plan for retribution. The wedding proceeded flawlessly, unaffected by Kathy's disruptive efforts. Lana and Michael reveled in the joy of their wedding celebration, having a remarkable time. They had meticulously crafted their own wedding vows, infusing personal sentiments into the ceremony. As the festivities continued with much laughter and delight, the time came for the speeches, a customary part of the event. Traditionally, it would be the maid of honor delivering a speech celebrating the happiness of the couple. However, Lana decided to deviate from the usual proceedings. For her wedding, Lana had prepared a speech of her own, harboring a significant intention in her heart. Rising to her feet amidst the gathering, Lana gazed upon the loving faces of their friends and family, brimming with warmth and support. She initiated her speech with a light-hearted joke, charming the audience before delving into the main purpose of her address. Hello, everyone, Lana began, her voice resonating with genuine affection. She acknowledged the peculiarity of a bride delivering a speech but expressed her eagerness to share something special. Lana recognized someone particularly significant present at the wedding who had contributed to making it extraordinary. It must have been a moment filled with a mix of emotions for Lana, poised to execute her extraordinary revenge scheme against Kathy. However, she wore a radiant smile as she proceeded with her speech. Lana reminisced about a conversation with Kathy six months earlier, where Kathy had expressed her apprehensions about Lana marrying her son, offering to pay off Lana's student debt. Addressing the gathering, Lana revealed, Kathy wouldn't take no for an answer. She made me promise not to disclose her offer to anyone. But, I'm sorry, Kathy, I can't keep that promise. Lana continued, commending Kathy for her generosity, proclaiming Kathy's qualities as an amazing mother. Please, everyone, a round of applause for Kathy, Lana exclaimed. The guests erupted in cheers and applause, acknowledging Kathy's perceived kindness. It was a moment of triumph for Lana, and Kathy realized she had been outplayed. However, Kathy found herself in a predicament. Revealing the truth would expose her deplorable behavior towards Lana. Consequently, she chose silence, accepting her defeat in the face of Lana's strategic and poignant revelation. Following that pivotal moment, Lana made a strategic decision with the unexpected money Kathy had offered her. Instead of utilizing it for personal gains or retaliatory purposes, Lana opted to deposit the sum into a savings account. Her foresight led her to envision using the funds for the future, earmarked particularly for any children she and Michael might have. Since that revealing speech at the wedding, an intriguing shift occurred in the dynamics between Lana and Kathy. It wasn't an immediate transformation into close confidence, but a notable evolution was evident in their relationship. Kathy seemed to have developed a newfound respect for Lana. They didn't forge an inseparable bond, but there was a gradual improvement in their interactions. Their interactions became more cordial, marked by a sense of mutual understanding. Lana's tactful handling of the situation had earned her Kathy's acknowledgement, fostering a delicate truce between them. However, 
This positive dynamic faced a turning point when Lana discovered she was pregnant. The complexities and intricacies of that phase in their lives would require another extensive narrative, a story for another day. In the interim, let's celebrate Lana's resilience, her cleverly orchestrated plan for retribution that managed to turn the tables. Lana's handling of the situation showcased her strength and intelligence, leading to an unexpected shift in the dynamics with Kathy. Indeed, it was an amazing display of strategic wit and emotional intelligence that Lana demonstrated through her revenge plot, a tale that would be remembered for its cunning brilliance.